Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. So once you have gone into the recovery mode, what do you get in a recovery mode for Windows 10 and Windows 11? Well, the first screen that will appear once you have choose the advanced boot options that I've shown are these. In Windows 10, you will get this screen. This screen has three options, continue and um, boot Windows 10 normally. You'll have the troubleshoot option. This is where you're going to get a lot more other options where you can boot from USB or you can boot from a DVD. You can um, go to safe mode. You can do a lot of things. And the other one will be turn off your PC, which is self-explanatory. You just turn off the computer. Now, that's Windows 10. In Windows 11, they changed one thing, and they gave the access to the boot of the USB drives uh, on the main screen. So in Windows 11, you'll have one more option. In Windows 11, you get continue to Windows 11. You can use a device like a USB drive, a network connection, or a Windows recovery DVD. And then you get troubleshoot, which brings you to other options that include, you know, like I said, safe mode and so on. And then you turn off your PC is the fourth option. So there's one more option in Windows 11. It should have added that also in Windows 10. Honestly, uh, that first screen should have immediately an option to use a device. I think it's extremely useful to have that. So that's your first screen that you will hit when you actually use the advanced boot options that we talked about in both Windows 10 and Windows 11. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.